Hey folks, this is Josh, Journey Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the farm vlog today. Today's video is gonna be another video in conjunction with Meyer Hatchery, okay? So we're gonna be working with Meyer Hatchery for several videos here, working with you, teaching you how to raise your chickens and raise your own meat birds for your own farm and your own family's production. So right here we have our chicken tractor. We're gonna take you around. We'll talk about what it's like one week prior to processing okay so we're getting together some equipment we're gonna have a whole processing setup and if you'll follow along on our vlogs click that subscribe button we'll show you how we process our chickens and we'll show you all this stuff and we're not gonna charge you anything like some other youtubers that we know of hmm all right so come along today guys we're gonna have some fun we'll talk about the chickens we're one week out from processing I'm gonna talk to you about food consumption water consumption and this little chicken tractor outfit we got going all right let's have some fun Woo! So like I said folks, we are one week out from slaughter on these chickens right here. We'll be putting somewhere in the neighborhood of 400 pounds of meat in the refrigerator and my father's going to come and help me out with the chicken processing this year so we'll give him four or five maybe ten chickens. We'll have enough chicken for our family to eat for the rest of the year which is super duper awesome. It took about six weeks of our lives to move these chickens around the yard and basically instead of moving them on pasture throughout the fields or whatever we just put them on our front yard right here. So that's proof that you can do this on a small scale. You can do this in a neighborhood. You can do this in a small house. You can do this on a small piece of land. So let's go check out the chickens. I've got them trained to come to me. Watch. Birdies! Birdies! Birdie birds! They're not listening today. So what you guys need to know is that these birds get fat. They get big, they get fat, and they get big and fat quickly. The feeder that we're using, this is a feeder that we're using from Meyer Hatchery, and it holds somewhere in the neighborhood of 25 pounds of feed, okay? So the birds will consume one and a half of these containers per day. They look crowded in here, that's because they are crowded, okay? But the thing about the chickens is, even if they weren't crowded, in this little coop. If the coop was bigger, they would all still be bunching together because they're a flock type animal. We're gonna show you how we move the coop now, okay? All right, guys. So first thing we do when we get ready to move the coop is we take our feeders out. We'll take both feeders out, we'll set them to the side here, and that kind of entices the chickens to come toward the feeders when we get ready to move them. All right, again, we're out here on our lawn. We're out here on our front lawn, and there's no stinky smell, there's no chicken poop mess, there's just, no smell here okay there's no fly problem we're moving them daily so they get a daily ration of grass and then every day they leave a nice layer of manure to help my lawn just explode with growth it all kind of fades away and we'll take you back here and show you day after day here let's go back and do that before we move the birds so you can see day by day that was yesterday day before day before and day before and last week they were right in here so the grass takes right back over and the chickens taste delicious with that grass, with that pasture raised taste to them. We give them a touch of corn and we give them 24% protein feed. Now I had somebody ask me a question in a video uh, when I built this chicken coop here that the birds need sunlight. These birds need sunlight. Don't you leave it open for, for the birds to get some sunlight? Well, the birds get plenty of sunlight and they actually, they're so heavy, they're so big that they stay hot all the time. Whether it's 70 degrees or whether it's 90 degrees, they're out here panting, they're laying down on the cool ground and trying to cool themselves off. So we don't want direct sunlight on these birds blasting down on them. Now this coop size is a 10 by 12 a 10 foot wide by 12 feet long. We have 50 birds, well actually 48 birds. We had two losses, okay? We keep moving them on pasture. We're gonna move them onto a new section of grass and they'll just chow down on that grass. It's super duper awesome. We give them about a half hour on the new section of grass and then we lay our food down in there and let the birds eat. So what we want them to do is get that roughage and get that grass. And we actually throw grass clippings in there and let them eat on that too. For some reason, that makes the birds taste just wonderful. It's worth the investment to build a coop like this for the lifetime of your family's eating, okay? In other words, this coop is gonna last for 20 years. Year after year, we'll be able to use this for feeding our family. And I tell you what, there's just something wholesome about eating food that you raised on your own. So let's move these guys. Fairly simple, little rope set up here. And we'll just slowly pull it. Now, the birds are used to me 
calling them, birdie, birdie, birdies, and they'll come running to the new grass and start eating. Hey, birdies. We want to make sure we're not catching any birds in the back. Looks good, very, very good. Birdies. There we go. Birdie birds. So now you can see we've got our chickens on a new stand of grass and that's the old stand of grass that they were on yesterday. They're on a new section every 24 hours now. Back when they were younger and a little bit smaller and not eating as much, we could get away with moving them every other day. But right now, it's packed. Check them out, they're eating the grass right now. So folks, you can see these birds are just totally motivated by food. This is what they do. They wake up, they eat, and they flop back down. These birds really, really love to get this roughage. This is something that they just don't get with the bird that you buy in the store. Now, is it cheaper to raise your own food and raise your own meat birds like this? Absolutely not. But you're getting a more wholesome bird. You're getting a bird that's more full of vitamins. And there's a lot of facts out there that support pasture-raised poultry. So folks, if you search YouTube for Polyface Farm, or I'll post a link down below, there are a lot of facts about how much more vitamin content these birds contain than the store-bought birds that never see sunlight, that never get pasture, that never get dirt, that never get grit. There's a whole lot of benefit here. The birds are not cheaper to raise. I will say it right now, they are not less expensive. You can pay $6 for a bird at Walmart that's already cooked versus we'll probably have about $15 per bird in this coop. We like them, they taste delicious, it's not cheaper, but it's a better way to live. So let's talk a little bit about the feeders and the waters that we're using with our birds here. And guys, this is the best stuff that I've found. Not only are we working with Meyer Hatchery, this is the best setup that I've found for working with these birds. So I'm not gonna tell you something that I don't believe in. These are our five gallon watering pails right here, and they're an easy clean watering pail. Basically, you just pour five gallons of water in here. You just come out here with some buckets. Whenever we move our coops, we remove all the feeders and all the waters. We move the coop over, we set it back in, we fill the water, and we have to do that twice a day at this point in the birds' lives. So if you're gonna do 50 chickens, I suggest getting two waterers and two feeders because you're just gonna be out watering the chickens all day. So they'll go through about 10 gallons of water, and if it's hotter than 90 degrees, they're gonna go through more than 10 gallons of water. You really gotta concentrate on keeping these birds cool. They get hot, they're fat, they get hot, they're chubby. I would say they're fat, but they're not fat, it's just meat, they're just robust birds, okay? Now again, the feeders that we use, they're made by Brower, and you can find these at Meyer Hatchery too. This is my first experience using these feeders, and let me tell you, they make life so much easier. We considered mounting some wheels on here so that we can set it down and roll it back into the coop, but this is specifically designed for this mobile coop. We're gonna go ahead and get them fed and get them filled up with water, but I thought I'd let you know what it was like one week before harvest on these birds, how much consumption of food we're experiencing, and what we're doing, and how they're living. All right, so guys, thanks a lot. Please pound that like button, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you, and I hope to see you again here on the Stony Ridge Farm when we get ready to process our birds. All right, we'll see you next time. Woo! Country life is wild and dreaming it's becoming a part of me all right. Woo! Daddy stepped in chicken poop.